Hi everybody, this is Dollar. Here's a sneak peek of the finished product. This video is going to be about an hour, hour and a half long, so I decided uh, late term to go ahead and break it into parts. Here's the next part. Thanks a lot. The next thing we're going to do is install the power supply. So we've got the outlets over here, on off switch up here. I um, was going to install it with the lettering right side up, but then the fan would be facing inward. So we're going to go ahead and stick this in. That, and just attach it over here. And we're just going to insert these screws here. So there we have the new power supply in. One of the nice things about the Corsair RMX850 and 750X is they come with custom cabling. They go great with a black and white theme in this case. Uh, really excited about that. So I'm gonna start connecting, getting some of these in. I'm only I only put in what I absolutely need. So the motherboard connector the, will be the 24 pin ATX will go right into those slots. The other end will plug into the motherboard right here. Like that. Push it down to this snug. It should snap in place. The next plug we're going to do is mark CPU. And it's going to go right there. And then we'll plug it back into the power supply. So let's go ahead and do that. If I can do this back, getting my hand in your way. Okay. And push it down until that little tab clicks in. And we'll push this through the grommet as well and get it be hidden. And this we're going to plug in right here. I'm also going to install one PCIe cord for the video card. I'm going to plug it in down here. You can see that it says PCIe. Okay. The USB 3.1 Gen 2 connector goes from the front I.O. panel here. I just wrapped it through the, con uh, the grommet and it'll go right into this connector here. The HD audio connector, again, routing it from the front panel. That's where you hook up your microphone and your headphones to the front panel. We'll go right here on this motherboard. Again, every motherboard is going to be different. So make sure you consult your motherboard instructions where these are located. The front control panel lights you have your power switch, your reset switch, your power LED, and your HDD uh, LED light all go right here. Um, look at your manual and it'll tell you how to hook these up. It is all identified here as well, but it's hard to see. If you look at the manual, it's a lot easier. So I have those installed per my motherboard's directions. Note that the hard drive LED and the power LED do have a positive and negative, so you have to make sure they're on the right way. So what I did here, I have the front panel wires going up and over. And this has two bays and two bays of removable hot swapping hard drives that are pre-wired for power and data. 
So I basically I've wrapped those individually so I can keep track of where they're at. This is all the stuff from the fan control. So I'll probably put that right up here to keep it up out of the way. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and hook up some power cables here to connect these so that they're ready to go when I put my hard drives in in the future. Okay, I plug the uh, wire in. It has the four SATA connectors. I'm going to go ahead and connect them to the hard drive cases. I may not always need them there, but I'm going to go ahead and set it up that way because I am putting probably two or three hard drives in this system. But if I put the SSD drives here or anywhere else, I'll probably need those SATA cables for that or add another one. Here's the actual SATA data ports. I'm not sure if those other ones, I'm, I'm used to the L shape like that being called SATA. So the power connectors that go to the hard drive, I call them SATA connectors for power, but that may not be what they're called. But I'm going to go ahead and plug in the data ports to here. This actually, this motherboard has six of these, which is really nice. There's four drive bays on this computer. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in all of them. Like I said, I'm going to populate them. There's two extra drives there, or SATA ports, for any SSDs that I might add later on. Actually, one of my drives is a SSD, that it, but they can also fit in those uh, hot swapping drive bays on the back side of the computer, which is really nice. So tons of data storage on this machine. The USB Gen 1, USB 3 Gen 1 power connector goes from the power panel. It's going to go down to the lower part of the motherboard as well. And on this motherboard, it's going to go right here. And that's going to provide the power for the I.O. on the front panel. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and plug in an extra power cord. I got two more here, so a total of about seven connectors. But I'm going to go ahead and put it in because the LGB lighting hub and the fan control hub will also need this type of power. And you can see there's a connector here that goes up to here that I think is also LGB power connector. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and plug that in as well.